So tell me about your new book, How to Don't Suck at Life. Well, I'm glad you asked. It's easy. Just don't suck. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have confirmed the existence of aliens in Area 51. They are real and they are not from this planet. We are live in front of the burning building. The fire is spreading quickly and there is a risk of explosion. Okay, so literally the craziest thing happened today and I'm still shaking. <sighs> okay, so today's video is gonna be pretty special because this is pretty insane if you ask me. So uh, I have access to the new Google Flow. So to get this, uh, I kind of bought into the Google AI Ultra package. So this is, it's on like a offer now, $124 for three months. So today we're gonna dive into Flow VO3 and just how insane this is. This is probably gonna change uh, the movie industry. Just look at this example here and I'm kind of gonna show you the first trailer I created. The sea doesn't care about your plans or your hurry. Taught me patience, did the sea. And the That's pretty insane, right? Uh, let me show you another one. This is just a live stream. Okay, chat, have you seen the new GTA 6 trailer drop? The cool. graphics are eye insane. Thanks for the sub, Legend92. And yes, I'm 100% doing a 24-hour stream when this drops. The kind of the voice uh, and kind of the lip movement is just crazy good, right? So you can create these pretty good scenes. Uh, so here's like, like our tech review. The iPhone 17's quantum display is revolutionary. True blacks, zero latency. It's a bit strange, but it's pretty good, right? So uh, let me see if I find some other one from my testing here. Uh, we have this one. This is just like a nightclub scene. This is epic. This is epic. Pretty good, right? Uh, so let me show you kind of the full trailer I did because we can do this uh, if I find a project here. So this is kind of all the scenes I created. So let me show you how it looks when we put everything together. Holy shit. I think we just did it. Is this, what could it be? We've confirmed it. Two unknowns have achieved singularity in a basement lab. Then God help us all. Initiate protocol blackout. Breach and secure. Primary targets are the servers. Sir, energy signature spiking. Something's happening in there. When they created it, they became the threat. Singularity Horizon. So that was just kind of the first thing I created. I think I spent about 20 minutes on this, something like that, with no experience of using Flow. So we're definitely gonna get better at this. Uh, so in this video, I thought we'd just try to create some kind of scenes together, see what we can do with uh, Flow and VO3 and we're gonna dive deeper into Google AI Ultra later testing out the new models and stuff but I wanted to try out with this because it's yeah I just personally really enjoy this. So let me just uh, kind of walk you through the interface here you kind of log in and get this create with flow and from here we can just start a new project right if you wanted to so you can see I have some test projects here I've done so that's pretty cool but uh, we want to start a new project right new project okay so it's pretty basic, uh, we can do text to video, frames to video, ingredients to video, but these are kind of restricted because I want to use kind of the VO3 model that has the speech feature. So we're gonna select that. That gives us the option to only use text to video, you can see with speech and some frames, but this will probably change later. So we're gonna focus on the VO3 model with the speech feature today. So that's why we are selecting that. And uh, now it's basically just a blank box at the end here. So we need to be pretty specific with our prompts. So um, I, in my testing, I tried different templates. So the one I kind of ended up with was kind of this. So we have this specs here. We have this camera type, if you want to add that. Character name, wide shot, medium shot, close up. You can change this as uh, kind of into whatever you want. Uh, I kind of use Claude here to help me set up some different scenes you can see. So we have kind of the name, person. So we just gonna try out a few different stuff and we can try to create coherent scenes. So let's start with this one. So I'm just gonna show you uh, kind of the, the setup I have for this. So 
I'm just gonna upload my template here to Claude. I'm gonna say, from the template, create an eight second intimate scene between a breakup of a man and a woman. Okay, so that's pretty standard movie scene, right? And now we're gonna take the template we have and kind of fill out. So you can see we have our camera settings, Marcus, and maybe we get some dialogue here, hopefully. Yeah, we see, I think we knew this was coming. Uh, yeah, some kind of thing here. So let's just see how this looks, and then we can try to work a bit on this. So I'm just gonna copy this prompt, let's go back to flow now, and just paste this in. So this is basically where you start. We do, of course you can work more on your prompt, but uh, let's just start with this. So it is pretty fast, I would say one eight second clip is around a couple of minutes maybe, something like that. And we have the highest quality, right, and yeah. So we're just gonna wait for this now and see if we can evolve this scene after we have created the kind of the first scene here. So what we can do now is uh, create a follow up scene, uh, story evolves, something like this. So I kind of like to use an LLM to help me write this, kind of saves me some time. Uh, yeah, so you can see finalizes. And she's gonna do three years, and I still don't know how to say goodbye to you. They don't say it, just go. <laughs> so this is gonna be our second scene if we like the first one, right? So let's just wait for this. Okay, so we have the results, so let me bring this to the full screen, and let's watch our first scene of our trailer movie here. I think we both knew this was coming. I just didn't think it would be today. I think we both knew this was coming. I just didn't think it would be today. Okay, so I think that's pretty good, right? The atmosphere, uh, kind of the background sound with the rain and stuff, and the dialogue is fine, it's not perfect. Uh, but I think we're gonna evolve this. So what we can do now, we can kind of use the scene builder, so we can do add to scene. So this is where I am a bit unsure, because we have a few options here, we can do something called, uh, we can do the plus here and jump to. Uh, but I think if we use jump to, uh, we can use speech. So we kind of lose that feature. So that's a bit annoying. So I think we're just gonna skip that for today. But when this jump to kind of has the speech, uh, I'm definitely gonna try that. But let's just try to create our second scene without doing this. So that is just gonna be text to video again, and highest quality. I think the issue now is that we will lose kind of the consistency. But let's copy our second scene here, and uh, just to see what happens. Paste it in here, and let's try that. Uh, but I guess we can just try the jump to scene anyway, uh, just to see how it looks. So jump to, and then happens, and then we're gonna do kind of the same prompt, uh, but there's probably gonna be no speech. So we can do both uh, in parallel here. So let's just wait for this and see what kind of scene we like the best here. Okay, so uh, kind of this uh, extend, this doesn't have any sound or this jump to. So this was horrible. I don't even like kind of the, it looks very strange. But the other one was pretty good, even though maybe not the consistency is perfect. Let's watch this. We got the text here, that's very annoying, but uh, let's try it. Three years, and I still don't know how to say goodbye to you. Then don't say it. Just go. Three years, and I still don't know how to say goodbye to you. Then don't say it. Just go. Yeah, I can believe it. She's very emotional when she speaks, right? And that kind of brings this feeling that it's some kind of real scene. So I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, I want to do one more scene. Uh, try to evolve the story. Let's do two years later or something and see what happens. So let's do next scene is two years later. They meet again on the street. <laughs> I don't really haven't really thought about this, but let's see what happened if we do that. Okay, so we have our third scene. Uh, let's take a look. Marcus, I almost didn't recognize you. Elena. Marcus? Okay, so that was a bit strange, right? I don't know exactly what happened, but it looked kind of off. So I went ahead, I did a new scene just to see if we can change it up. Elena. I Didn't expect to see you in New York. I moved here last spring. 
teaching at Columbia now. Elena. I didn't expect to see you in New York. I moved here last spring, teaching at Columbia now. Okay, so that was a pretty lame one. It was a bit strange because we didn't quite get kind of the consistency from the first one. Uh, but overall, I think these three scenes we watch now uh, turn out pretty good. Uh, and this is just me having tried it before, so uh, I think it was pretty good. Uh, but what I went ahead and did now is I just created a bunch of different examples here we're going to go through just to check them out, kind of see some different stuff we can do. So the first one I created was kind of this podcast interview. I tried to do different things with video, uh, but I did use big D O don't big uh, capital letters here in the description. So that turned uh, was pretty strange. So let me show you. So tell me about your new book, How to D-O-N-T Suck at Life. <laughs> well, I'm glad you asked. It's E-Easy, <laughs> D-O-N-T-S-C. So tell me about your new book, How to D-O-N-T Suck at Life. <laughs> well, I'm glad you asked. Okay, so that was very good. But when I used D-O-N-T, -D don't, right? It kind of turned, so that's not a good way to prompt this. But other than that, it was pretty good. Uh, next up, I tried to do some anime stuff. Don't really know much about that. But let's see how it turned out. What is the meaning of life? I don't know, but you will not find out. <clears throat> what is the meaning of life? Again, that was not very good. It was very strange. I didn't like that. Uh, next up, I tried to do like this body cam footage of a police officer chasing a suspect. So let's see. Stop right there! Suspect is running through the city street. He is armed and dangerous. Stop right there! Suspect is running through the city street. He is armed and dangerous. Stop right there! That must have been the most lame police chase ever. The audio was great though, but it was a bit boring. Other than that, pretty cool. Uh, next up is when I changed up the podcast clip. Uh, this turned out really good. So tell me about your new book, How to Don't Suck at Life. Well, I'm glad you asked. It's easy. Just don't suck. <laughs> <laughs> So tell me about your new book, How to Don't Suck at Life. Well, I'm glad you asked. It's easy. Just don't suck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was just great. The background, the people, the timing, everything superb. Uh, next up, I have a second clip of a news reporter standing in front of a burning building in like a bikini top. We are live in front of the burning building. The fire is spreading quickly and there is a risk of explosion. We are live in front of the burning building. The fire is spreading quickly and there is a risk of explosion. I love how these people are just walking casually by here. Other than that, it was pretty funny. It's a bit strange though, but uh, yeah, pretty good. Uh, next up was this Netflix style documentary interview with about male high rank officer about aliens. Yes, we have confirmed the existence of aliens in Area 51. They are real and they are not from this planet. Yes, we have confirmed the existence of aliens in Area 51. They are real, and they are not from this planet. Yeah, I think that was the best one. That was just perfect, right? Everything about it. The slow zoom, the background music, everything. Here I tried to improve the body cam footage. Police! Stop running! I need backup on 5th and Main, suspect heading east through the alleyways. Police! Stop running! I need backup on 5th and Main, suspect heading east through the alleyways. Okay, so that was pretty bad. The audio is great, but uh, it was pretty strange. Uh, next up is a CCTV footage of a thief stealing some beer. Hey, man. I'm not stealing, I'm borrowing. Hey, man. I'm not stealing, I'm borrowing. For some reason, I just found that very funny. It was so stereotypical of like a guy stealing a beer. Uh, but it was very good. Next up, we have this YouTube cooking tutorial. Now remember, we need to fold the mixture. Now remember, we need to fold the mixture gently, Thanks, not stir it. Like oh. when you made three collapsed souffles during rehearsal yesterday? Now remember, we need to fold the mixture gently, Thanks, not stir it. Like when you made three collapsed souffles during rehearsal yesterday? Now Again, for some reason, I just think that was funny. 
So here I tried uh, a bit of different thing, just like a close-up of a coffee cup or something with some pirate ships. I'm gonna change that up later. The audio is just superb and it looks great. Uh, here we did this uh, woman in her 20s filming a TikTok video in her car. It's sideways now. Uh, I might try to flip this around in the editing, but let's watch it. Okay, so literally the craziest thing happened today and I'm still shaking. <gasps> Okay, so literally the craziest thing happened today and I'm still shaking. <gasps> that is just insane good. It looks so real and the audio just makes it better. Uh, okay, so uh, I wanted to do two things. I wanted to make like a storm in this coffee cup and maybe like a last physical experiment. That's gonna be the final things. Okay, so let's check out uh, our physic experiment. So the first one is like this storm in this coffee cup. Okay, so that was pretty cool, right? But it was a bit strange, it kind of added too much. I kind of wanted the C to be a coffee, but pretty cool. Uh, the final uh, physic one is this uh, Newton's Cradle with this, with, yeah, you've seen this. So this is where it gets a bit interesting. The shot looks amazing and the sounds are great, but <laughs> the physics doesn't comply here. It's all over the place. Uh, I found that just very interesting. So yeah, I think that's gonna conclude kind of my first impression of Flow and VO3. And I had a blast playing around with it. Uh, I know it's pretty expensive. It's like $125 now. But uh, for one month, I'm gonna keep playing with this and I think I'm gonna enjoy it. Uh, we're gonna do more videos on this, we're gonna test out some new AI models when we get access to that using Google AI Ultra. So that's gonna be interesting, coming probably up this weekend. So give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you again very soon.